quadratics page eight. First, we're going to do five F. Um, match each quadratic function with its corresponding graph. Let's, let's look at this format here. This is the vertex form, right? The vertex form, you uh, have a times x minus h squared plus k, right? That's what this is in. So what's h and k? Well, h is not 3, but negative 3, right? Because it's minus h, it's plus 3 here. So h is negative 3. k is what? Negative 3 also. Um, so the vertex, we already know, is at point negative 3, comma, negative 3. Um, anything else we can tell from this? Well, let's look at the a value. The a value is 1 third. So that means uh, it opens um, up or down. Well, positive means it opens up, right? And the fact that it's 1 third means that it opens wide, right? So basically what we should have is we should have a parabola that's about here at negative 3 comma negative 3 and it opens up wide so it, it'll be like maybe it looks about like that okay so now let's try to figure out which one it is do we see any parabolas that look kind of like that where they're um, they're at that position negative 3 comma negative 3 this one is, this is the negative 3 comma negative 3. Any others? No, I don't, I don't think there are any others. So it's probably this one here. Um, how can we make sure? Well, this one has a really convenient um, point to check. It's, it goes through 0 comma 0. So we could check that point. We could put 0 in for x and see if y comes out. 0. So let's put um, 0 in for x and then we'll have 3 squared, which is 9. Divided by 3, which is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Hey, what do you know? It checks out. So that point checks out. That point checks out. So this must be our parabola. So our, our answer is C. Now let's go down to 7. Find the x-intercepts for, and it gives us many um, examples. I'm going to do three examples, and I'm going to do them three different ways. So for A, we have y equals x squared minus 9. Now, you might remember that the sum of... Um, or the difference of two squares, it can be factored into um, into this, okay? And if you remember that, then you can solve this easily by factoring. So we just found the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are um, 3 and negative 3, okay? So it's like if we put 3 in there, it'll be 0. If we put negative 3 in there, it'll be 0, right? So um, those are that's the answer for a. Now what about g? Uh, y equals negative two x squared minus four x minus two. X intercepts for that. Okay. Well, this is you know because of the two, it's not so easily be factorable. Although you know you could still try to factor if you want to. Um, if if there's something that you look at and say, okay, I don't want to factor this, just use the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this will be on your, your formula sheet. But uh, negative of negative 4 plus or minus, and then b squared would be 16, right? Minus 4 times a, which is negative 2, times c, which is also negative 2, all over 2 times negative 2. So let's see, we got... Um, positive 4 over negative 4, plus or minus 16 minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Positive 4 times positive 4 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. And what do you know? It's This, this is just 0. So then uh, 0 over negative 4, which is just 0. Okay. Um, so we basically have negative 1. Okay, so... Um, we use the quadratic formula and we just found out that there is only one intercept at x equals negative 1. That means that um, if you have negative 1 right there, the parabola, uh, oh, actually, this is an upside down parabola. So it opens down. It like crosses the negative 1 and then comes back down. Okay? And the last one, k, um, x squared minus 6x minus 2. Um, in this case, uh, we could try to factor. 
Um, but let's do one on the GDC just to see how you do it that way. And um, put y equals, and I'm going to put the I'm going to put the formula in here. It's x squared minus 6x minus 2. x squared minus 6x minus 2. It's a little low, isn't it? So let's uh, adjust the zoom. We'll do zoom fit, which is um, option zero. OK. And now um, what we're doing is we're figuring out what the x-intercepts are. So there's one here, and there's one here. So now let's use um, second calc. 0 to find it. So we'll go a little bit to the left, enter, and then we'll go a little bit to the right of that, enter. So one of the points is, oops, and one of the points is negative 0 0.317 comma 0, okay? Negative 0.317 comma 0. Let's see what the other point is. Second calc, zero. And then we'll go a little bit to the left of the other point. We're looking at this point now. Now we'll go to the right side. There we go, right side. So the right side, the intersect is 6.32, comma 0. Okay, so that's the solution for K.